So most dentists are totally trustworthy and honest, but they're upset about a small minority of dentists within the field that are taking advantage of patients. I spoke to eight different dentists and asked them what sorts of things patients should be looking for to see if they might be getting ripped off. One big red flag is a lot of people will go into a new dentist and he or she will say, oh, we have to rip out all your old silver fillings. They're falling apart or they're leaching mercury into your body and we need to take them out. There's no truth to the idea that mercury in old silver fillings is actually leaching into people's teeth. You might have one or two fillings that are cracked or wearing down, but in most cases, you don't need to get all of your fillings replaced at once. Another thing to look out for are dentists that advertise, especially if they're offering free deals, like a free cleaning, free whitening, a lot of the time they're just doing that to get you in the door so they can prescribe more treatment. All the dentists I spoke to said the best way to find a dentist is through word of mouth. For children, sometimes these fluoride treatments can be helpful, but for most adults, especially if you're not getting tons of cavities, you don't need prescription fluoride toothpaste. Those are things that are commonly not covered by dental insurance, and they're also things that are not necessary for most adults. Throughout the course of our lives, we all grind our teeth a little bit, some more than others. A lot of people, you know, might do a little bit of grinding and then stop for several years and then do some more, and it doesn't mean that you need a $700 night guard. It's a huge markup item. You know, both that and the fluoride toothpaste, they're products that the practice sells directly to you, so they're getting that markup. So veneers are basically these artificial tooth services. They go on top of the tooth and they look really big and white and beautiful. But they cost thousands of dollars, and ultimately they're a cosmetic choice. If you don't like the color of your teeth, but the shape is fine, you can just uh, go for whitening. When you get x-rays done, it's your legal right to have those files. And if you tell a dentist, okay, can I please see the x-ray? I want to go get a second opinion. And they're somewhat reluctant to let you do that. That could be a sign that they might be ripping you <laughs> off. But it's a field where if you need to make a little more money, you know, you just err a little bit on the side of aggressive treatment rather than conservative treatment, and no one is going to know. With all these claims, it's important to remember, if you're having some kind of pain or problem, then you probably do need work done. If you go in and your mouth feels great and you just wanted a cleaning, and the new dentist tells you you need to have seven new fillings done, it's probably a good reason to go get a second opinion.